This is the iMac 2008 24 inch. This Mac is more than 10 years old. Still it looks so beautiful. After such a long time you would think this Mac had its time to shine. Well, not just yet. Because if you put an SSD into this machine, it becomes pretty much usable again. How usable? Let's check it out. Let's first get the specs out of the way. The iMac has a Intel Core 2 Duo, 4 gigs of RAM, which is upgradable, 256 megabyte of video card memory, and a 120 gigabyte SSD, which I bought for 20 euros. The latest possible macOS this computer can run is OS X El Capitan. Although there is a way to run Catalina as well, but more on that later. The screen is a 24 inch 1920 by 1200 pixels panel, which is slightly bigger than Full HD. It still looks great and better than equal monitors on the market now. On the back, you find a headphone jack, ethernet connection, USB ports, two different firewire connections, and a mini DVI port for a second display. Now let's use this thing. Let's start with browsing. I opened Safari and visited the Apple website. Apple's site is quite heavy because of all the fancy animations they have. In the beginning, Safari had some trouble running those animations, but this is due to Safari being an old version. In Google Chrome, the website ran way smoother, so using any other browser than Safari is recommended. I also tried some YouTube videos. They could easily run in 1080p, and even in full screen. I tried playing the video in 4K, but here you could feel that the Mac had some troubles. But yeah, who watches 4K videos anyway? As for other browsing, you can have multiple tabs open and enjoy all of your social media websites, as well as other websites you might visit. Overall, the browsing experience is good and can be improved by installing a newer browser like Firefox, Opera or Chrome. Now let's check out some more macOS stuff. Stuff like Launchpad, Notification Center, Switching Windows, Entering Exiting, Full Screen, all run smooth and snappy. As well as all the default Apple apps like Messenger, FaceTime, Calendar, Reminder, Notes are still all usable. But what about heavier software? I started slowly by creating a presentation in Keynote. I choose a template, added some slides, made some adjustments. The experience was very smooth. I also had a copy of Logic 10 installed because I used the iMac with my MIDI keyboard and recorded tracks. It handles switching instruments, adding tracks and recording tracks quite well. Although don't expect it to handle massive projects with 10 or more tracks. When looking at the activity monitor, you can also see that the CPU load peaks quickly as soon if you open multiple apps and use them. So don't do too crazy stuff. For fun, I also just opened all apps at once. And to my surprise, it opened them quickly without encountering the way of death. As a last test, I wanted to see if it can handle simple games. I started up Spotify, chose a nice tune and started my game, Minecraft. Opening the game takes a little while, as well as generating or opening a saved game. In the beginning, I had some performance issues, but after tweaking the video settings a little, the game was very much playable and enjoyable. Overall, I'm very impressed by this Mac. Upgrading this Mac with an SSD is really worth a consideration since it breathes new air into the machine and doesn't cost that much. This makes it useful again for simple daily usage such as browsing, creating documents, checking your mail, chatting with friends, etc. If you do some heavier work, such as editing a video or running many applications at the same time, you will discover its limitations. Even though Apple says this Mac is obsolete because it can only run up to OS X El Capitan, it still runs just fine. In the near future, some software might not support El Capitan anymore. However, there might be a solution for that problem, which will also make this Mac even more useful. But that's for another video. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.